So you were gonna replace your spark plug, wiggle, wiggle, and uh-oh, it broke. Look at this. See your plug wire hanging right there? And it broke off. You're like, oh no, I need a new coil. No, you don't. Now I know a lot of you out there probably already know how to fix this, but I'm gonna show you a little trick that makes it so much easier. Right off the bat, let's just get this cover and all out of the way. Air filter. Water. Just leave your screws hanging in there. These will be fine thread and these other ones are gonna be coarse thread. Let me show you the difference. See right there? That's plastic that goes into metal. And we got two more down here. Don't just go just jerking this cover off yet. Stand your machine back up and I'm gonna show you why. There are three spacers, one, two, and three, and these are famous for falling out. Now this cover will come right up out of here. See those? Go right there. Now these little spacers right here, these are famous for getting lost and you're gonna be in trouble if you lose them. Now back to the spark plug boot. Yeah, I got a good trick coming up for you. You gotta dig this little spring out of here. That rubber something, there it is. Now that I dropped it, crap. I found it. And you can see where this just hooks back into here. And when it goes in there, then you would take hook it back into the spark plug wire and then you go fight and fight to get your boot on. Then this right here is just going to pop out and you're going to get frustrated. Well, I'm going to show you an easy way to fix it. Well, some of you already know what T-Bone's about to do. A little piece of heat shrink and a lighter. So now all you want to do is take your heat shrink and just go ahead and slide it down on the wire like so. Get it down there good and get you a pair of pliers. Be sure that this terminal is nice and straight and gets into the wire really good. Just like that. Now we slide this up. I got another trick, y'all don't go anywhere. This, this ain't all of it. There's more to it, folks, more to it. Slide this up and we're gonna heat this up right quick. My fan's blowing my lighter, my fire, I mean, something or another. Look at there. Now that'll stay in there and won't keep poking out. Let me show you my other trick. All right, there's my next trick. And there's one more trick. But you can use grease or whatever. Golly, you can tell it's summertime here, 90 degrees. Just a little lube on this thing, it'll help this boot slide on. The other thing I'll do, I'm going to warm this up. Don't go crazy. You can use a heat gun, go steal your wife's hair dryer. I don't care. She might warm that up a little bit. And we'll do a little bit around the edge of this. And then we'll just hold this tight. Slide it up in there. And it's going to be hard. And your finger's going to be slick with grease and Vaseline. All right, y'all come here and look. I'm gonna show you what you're looking for inside. Look down in there and make sure that that little spring piece is straight. And if you need to do a little tweakage, you can do a little tweakage with your screwdriver. You know, you just wanna make sure it's gonna plug straight down onto your spark plug. And we just saved yourself from buying a coil. Now, yes, go ahead and put that on before you put the cover on. Trust me, it makes it easier. All right, let's get her slid back together. Just work it, baby, work it. Just like that. Now you remember your little boot under there, slide it up on that little thing. Right up on there. 
There she is. Let's pop some screws in her. Remember, the four coarse screws go into plastic. Somebody gonna say, don't use a gun. Well, you can, but just don't over tighten and strip them. You know what I mean? Just like that. Ah, let's see, where'd my other screw go? Did y'all hide my other screw? There it is. Hold my finger. And... Pop her back up. When you put the starter cover on, give it a little tweak and it'll get on the little paws on the flywheel thingy by Bob Hitchimo. You know what I'm talking about, that what you call it? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Now he said he doesn't even don't even know if this thing runs. So I don't know if it wasn't running and let's see if it's got gas in it. I don't know if it wasn't running and that's why they checked the spark plug. Mm, don't smell great, but don't smell terrible. Let me pump our primer later up. Boy, I hope this little trick helped you out there. The little heat shrink kind of does the trick for me. Let me know what you guys do. Appreciate you tuning in. Please click that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below now. Let us know how you do these. We'll see you next time. Thanks.